Come here, Sam. Interesting situation she's in. And I, and I know that, Bethany, you've probably dealt with this. Yes. And maybe, Danielle, before you were married, yeah. maybe you dealt with this. And maybe your husband is dealing with this. Oh. Well, let, listen to this. Yes, producer Sam. Hi. So I made a friend in yoga, which is totally cool. We're awesome. We have so much in common. It's a guy, and he's married. Okay. Mm. I feel... well, why, are you making, why are you making duty face? Because... I feel like you can't comfortably make a hangout session with a guy who's married without that being probably kind of weird. You know what? You're right. Yeah. I, right? I, I can see how many people would be weirded and out And especially by you with your hot body and wonderful personality. I wouldn't be happy. Well, thank you. <laughs> if I didn't know you. Now, can you, I hang out with Sheldon? <laughs> yes. Now, now okay. knowing you, you and Sheldon go to dinner, do whatever you want. But not knowing you, knowing how friendly you are and how sweet you are and how beautiful you are, I would have a problem with it. Okay, look, look at it from the opposite direction. Let's say uh, Sheldon was best friends with a girl yeah. or a woman at work, whatever. And then when he got married, is he supposed to kind of just back away from that friendship a little bit? Be honest. Uh, if, just a I, bit. if I knew her and I was comfortable with it, then that's one thing. If I wasn't comfortable, if I was a little uncomfortable with it and I was allowed to voice my opinion, then maybe he should back off a little bit. Depends. You know, every situation is different. If he had just met her, some new girl at work, and he starts hanging out with some new girl at work, and they're going to lunch all the time, I probably wouldn't be thrilled. That's what sucks. The situation is not fair because his wife doesn't do yoga, so I'm never going to meet her. Right. So I feel like I can't really be friends with him unless I was friends with the wife first, but mm. I'm never going to meet her, and he's awesome. And we're not, we're, we can't be friends. Right. Would you like invite the two of them out for lunch? <laughs> I, w- I guess I'd have to invite her as well. Yeah. But all of our like, hey, we got to, you know, well, grab a beer the, has never been that. The whole point is there's an issue. Yeah. There's an issue in, in it's real life, man. You know, yeah. I go through it too. You know, gay, gay people go through it as well. You know, if, if Alex is out there and he makes a new friend and who happens to be gay, I'm like, well, wait a minute. You know, I got, I, I it is different than if he has a, a friend who's a, a girl. Like for right. instance- Straight Nate. Alex used to have a problem with me having lunch with Straight Nate because he thought Nate was gay. Yeah. Well, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know. I know. I know yeah. you're not. We all know you're not. Yeah. But I, I know, but, but before... But, you see what I'm saying, though? He didn't I know for 100%. Mm-hmm. 100% but I if Alex it. has a friend who's a gay guy, like I said, I would be like, well, wait a minute. Who is yeah. this? I need to know... Why do we have to be this way? Why can't we just trust? I don't know. When I was with my ex, uh, I made a friend who was married, and we hung out every couple of weeks, just grabbed lunch. And my ex convinced me that, not that he had a problem, but that the guy's wife probably had a problem. Ugh. And he was like, you can't hang out with him anymore because it's really weird. She and may I thought, have not even known. Well, and I ended up going out to lunch with the, the friend and his wife, and she was great and it was fine, but my ex was still like, no, that's really weird. No, okay, okay, uh, Sam, let's take it further. You have become friends with a guy in yoga who's married. Yes. But you, there is a wall there because he's married. You can't mm-hmm. really be friends. But what about your boyfriend? How does he feel about you becoming friends with the, another guy, married or not married? I, he seems pretty okay mm-hmm. with it. I haven't quite brought up like the level of concern to him, but I've definitely said, "Oh, I met you know, I met some cool guy in yoga today." And hey. now, have you not brought up the level of concern in this conversation in fear that maybe it would start some thoughts in his head? A little bit. I mean, maybe. Yeah, yeah okay. A bit. Right. Maybe you should. The four of you should go out and like hang out. I think out. the four of you should just do each other. <laughs> Get the tension out of the way. Just come on. <laughs> Uh, yes, Gary. So it works both ways. I lost all my married women friends after they got married, and because I found out their husbands are jealous for no good reason. Yeah, that's well, not why. Well, now, now I find I'm the jealous guy. Yeah. Because, you know, every once in a while I could call Nate and say, "Hey, Nate, I'm making some pasta. Come over for dinner." He would come over, but now he's living with that woman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me finish. He's living in sin. Thank you, Catholic yeah, girl. Yeah. He's living in sin with that woman, and now I can't say, "Hey, come on over." Now I've lost my my friend. Yeah. Okay, right. You could you could say that. You could just give me a little more advanced notice. No, oh, that's, 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 that's drive my... from Georgia or wherever you're living. I'm not now. living in Georgia. Might as well be. And I don't think you should be that jealous. It's not that big a deal. People yeah. get in relationships all the time. Oh I'll my make God. time for you, okay? He's told you. No, well, no. no. Let's not flatter ourselves and think that I'm losing sleep over you this. You can always I'll call Scary. Scary oh, will come over. Scary lives in Jersey. Can That's I read wrong. what you sent me last night? Yeah. Making the most amazing dinner, and now you're living uptown with caps, her. <laughs> You're no longer available. I feel like Scary is right about how Greg T abandoned him when he married Trish. Exactly. Oh! And then and then I replied, "How about this? You make me dinner on Thursday." No response. No response. Yeah, Elvis doesn't plan ahead. I've been saying 
this for years. He invites me out to lunch two minutes before he's going yeah. to lunch, well, okay. and then bitches that yeah. I never come. Okay, well, this is another thing about when you get married, <laughs> you lose some some sense of spontaneity because you have a responsibility to be home with your loved one. And then if you have kids, you've lost a lot of spontaneity. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But, but for good for good things, right? Yeah. Frog, right, Danielle? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you love your kids. But, I mean, like, like, but he does tend to do that. Like, we're going to lunch today. Yeah. We are? Yeah, we're going to lunch. I'm like, well, I can't. I, I have I know. Let's go to lunch. <laughs> and you're like, oh, you never do anything. Right. And, and I live in the city, so I don't have to drive. So we can go. To, we have a boozy lunch. Uh, you, you have to drive to the I have, suburbs. I live in Jersey, you know, dirty yeah. Jersey. Come Let's on. go talk to Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Doing very well. So you heard Sam, the producer's predicament. Yes, um, right. and I could relate because I was friends. I met a, I started working a new job. I uh, met with a guy who I became really good friends with, and he was just dating this woman at the time. I uh, met her almost a year later uh, while they were still dating, and she, we found out we had a lot of things in common, too. So now I feel like I have individual friendships with both the guy and the girl, but we can all hang out as couples as well. Yeah. yeah. So hey, so yeah. that that works out that way in your situation. That's good. I mean, that's a great situation. So should I be the one I, to bring up the, the wife <clears throat> hanging out with us, or is that his responsibility as hubby? I think it, it could be go either way, because okay. I mentioned to the guy, oh my gosh, I would love to meet your wife or girlfriend at the time. She sounds amazing. Um, and then it just happened that we were all at a work party together, and I finally got to meet okay, her. So it works out I in guess. a great way. So, okay. I mean, that's good. That's the thing is, it's you know, the whole fact, and, and I'm guilty too, that let's, this is just a human condition thing. Elizabeth, the whole fact that we have to sniff out, <laughs> we have to sniff out whoever is friendly with our significant other to make sure the coast is clear. Yeah. And you know, and we, we we have to try to work on those suspicions, and it's it's a rough thing. Well, listen, thanks for listening, Elizabeth, and thanks for uh, thanks for your call. Thank you, love you guys. Thank you, Scary. You're laughing. What? what, what? Because I'm just picturing you sniffing, like you sniffing around. Okay, well, that's, sure well, that's what we're doing, basically. Yeah. It's like the, it is. It really is the. You know. It really is. But anyway, back to uh, Nate and the woman he's living with now. <laughs> a texter, that woman. A, a text just came in and said, "Don't worry." You'll kill her soon. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not a murderer. Okay, you're not, not gonna, gonna kill, kill this one. No. See, actually, I haven't killed anyone. The thing is, I've met her, and she's she's great. She's and, lovely. And so, um, you know, I'm. Uh, most of this isn't fun, but at the same time, I can There's... see how you know when your friend becomes involved with an, in a relationship, and you kind of lose a friend a little bit. Some aspects of it. Yeah. Are you jealous? No, it's not a jealousy thing. No, not at all. Envious. No, Same I'm thing. just I'm just saying if it's it, I miss being able to say hey come over for dinner and you you, you can still say that no, I will no, still come no, over for dinner I cannot handle rejection back to Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a so Sorry. Sam, so so good luck with that and maybe you do need to get to know his wife if you want to pursue a friendship with them because you that's the thing about a couple sometimes you need to consider the the couple as the friend and not just one or the other. Oh, now it's a package deal. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes you can just say, "Hey, you know what? what? We should all get together one night. You know, it'd be so much fun." I'll try that. Two Here's friends sounds do. like double the commitment. The three of you, to me. The, you and the husband and the wife, go to dinner, and you should start giggling after a glass of wine. I go, "Ah, oh, you know, your husband is my yoga husband." <laughs> <laughs> That, That's how help. you make friends. That helps help. me push deeper into downward dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you should see him bent in half. Oh, <laughs> where'd that come from? Or maybe you have, am I right? Oh my God. God. We have hey, something in common, you I'd and I. I'd like to see you bent in half. <laughs> oh my All gosh. right. Uh, thank you very much, Samantha. Love you. Harlot. Food for, food for thought. Uh, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi. You're just dealing with this right now with your husband, right? What's going on? So my husband and this female co-worker kept, like, texting and talking all of the time. And it was like, what the hell? Like, whoops, sorry. Like, that's okay. Can say that. Like, that's not cool because it's like, she. it was just weird. And then they have a Snapchat streak, which was Ooh. like, okay. Okay, I, I got to be honest. Her. Okay, no offense. And maybe there's nothing going on. But that sounds a little suspicious to yeah, me. Yeah, it does. Snapchat okay. streak. I know, but... That, it, it shouldn't. I mean, what is wrong with friends Snapchatting each, with each other? I, I, th- this is where mm, we've all no. we've oh, all lost I our marbles. No, that's I a little much. It. Anyway, so you met her finally, right, Sarah? Yep. And and and, and, and you think everything's cool? You're like, okay, never mind. Yeah, and she has a actually a boyfriend of hers, and we've actually gone out a lot. Like they're actually really cool. But okay. at first, it was like 
Yeah, I'm not cool. So I guess I guess what we were, we're learning here, Sarah, is if you are in the middle, if for instance, if someone's listening who's like in your husband's situation, where you've become friendly with someone who could be a problem with your significant other, you need to be aware of that and don't brush it, don't sweep it under the rug. Yeah, you, you, exactly. Deal with it. Hey, I have a friend at work. It may seem weird to you, but it's not. Let's talk about it. And you got to get it started. You got to rip that Band-Aid off, baby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, Sarah. Thanks for thanks for texting us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hmm. So there you have it. Hmm. hmm. Huh. What? Hmm. What, are you in that? I'm no, I'm in just, that mode. I'm curious. It's 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 kind of. She's in a weird place, Sam. With that, that's yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, Froggy. I think a lot of times it comes down to you trust your significant other and you know where their intentions are. You don't trust the other person because you don't know them and you don't know their exactly. intentions. Exactly. That's the real problem. Man, we exactly. all agree with that one. Yep. So once you meet that other person and you're cool with it, like Danielle said, now that she knows Sam and she knows her intention, she's okay with it. You have a lot but of single friends. Wait, wait, wait. You have a lot of single girlfriends, Froggy. I, I do. I, I do. And, and when Lisa meets them, she's fine with it. But until she meets them and she knows them, she is a little bit uncomfortable. Do and you I find totally yourself that. not talking about them until she meets them? Just to like... I, yeah. I do because I always say this. If your significant other is uncomfortable with something that you're doing, you either have to stop doing it or find out what it is that's making them uncomfortable and then either find a way to make them comfortable or mm. stop doing it. Wow. Very good advice, Froggy. Froggy. Dr. Ooh. Frog.